fish. Come here, buddy. Look at that nice three pound bass, dude. Look at guys, it's it, it's starting to pour even more. We were sitting in the tent because it was like it stopped raining, now it's starting to pour. Know the difference. You love to see these signs. You know what fish I'm gonna try to catch today. We're gonna start off the day trying to catch some bass. I'm really upset right now because I forgot my graph, which really sucks because this is a completely new lake I've never fished before, know nothing about it. So it would be nice to see the lay of the land a little bit, but I forgot my graph. So, you know, that's off the that's off the table right there, but it's fine. There is muskie, pike, largemouth, smallmouth. There's pretty much anything in this lake. So it's gonna be a fun day, hopefully. If we can find the fish, like I said, don't have my graph, which is really upsetting, but we're gonna try to put the work in it. We got Danny, we got our kayaks, and we're, we're gonna get her done. All right, so since I forgot my graph and I have absolutely no idea what I'm fishing because it's murky, so I can't see what depth it is, I'm just gonna fish some shallow vegetation because at least then I know there may be some largies up here and everything else, I don't really know. So this is a good place to start. Just saw a fish bust, that's a good sign. Well, let's get after it. I mean, I'll take a good old frog bite if I can, that's dope. But there was just some dudes trolling for muskie right over here, so that's also a good sign. I got my muskie rod with me. I might use it a little bit later once it starts getting more like, um, you know, sundown. Don't really know how the night's gonna go, but it's gonna go in uh, some way. <laughs> we freaking hooked our line. We both thought we had one. Oh my gosh. That's funny. It's fish. Yeah. Come here, buddy. Oh, yep. Yeah. There he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come here. We've got the first fish of the day. Skunk is out of the boat, dude. Let's go. This is what we needed right now. We needed a little boost of confidence in what we were fishing. It's a nice little largy, nothing big, but I'll definitely take them. Let's go, dude. That is such a big confidence booster. Fishing new lakes and new waters can be a little bit, what's the right word for that? Fishing new lakes and new waters can be a little bit challenging and daunting to do. It's kind of scary, like new waters, especially when you don't have any sort of like technology at all and you're just kind of going off the limb, trying some new things. It feels so good to catch the first fish on the day. It's only took like maybe a half an hour being here. So maybe we're onto something. I mean, fishing grass is always just a good call in general. It's not a big one, probably like a one pound largey, but hopefully we can keep cranking them, get some bigger ones on the day. Maybe catch a muskie tonight. I don't know what's going on with the rest of the day, but we're gonna figure that out. Send him on his way. I'm exhausted right now, but let's go. Got him? Yes, sir. Using the good old Texas rig and got this nice LMB. That's like a pound and a half, two pounder right here. Yeah, literally like two minutes after I caught mine. So I think we're onto something here. We're starting to find something. So that's pretty sweet. One last look at this beautiful bass right here. Such a nice fish, dude. All right. Thank you very, very much for providing. It boosted my confidence a lot. There she goes. Another Let's buddy. go, Let's get boy. It. I need to tie in a T-rig so I can flip these pockets. Oh boy, this is some thick stuff right here. Oh, there's fish. Yep, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I don't know if he's stuck in weeds or if it's a big one. Probably stuck in weeds. Dude, come here, please don't, please don't come off. Please don't come off, that felt like a good bite. He's 100% stuck in weeds. I don't even know if he's still there. No, he's still there, I feel head shakes. That feels like a good one though. Dude, yep, come here. What is it, dude? That's a good fish though. Yeah, that's that's a decent one. For sure, bigger than my first one. I'll take it. Oh, he just completely soaked me and came off. Dude. Gosh dang it. There's a whole swan army over there. Kind of terrified. Um, we're gonna keep our distance. That's for sure.
There we go, dude. Holy crap, dude, that's fat. That's actually a, yeah, we're gonna have to break the scale for this dude. You better land him. Yes, sir. Dude, that's a nice bass. I'm not even recording, I'm an idiot. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at that bass, look how fat that thing is. Look at that. Holy crap. It's definitely a good fish. <laughs> I feel so it good. Might, I even it catch him. It it's not my PB, but like, it's still a nice bass. I mean, I just want to get a weight on it. I guess it's probably around three. 215. Yeah, three pounder. Look at that nice three pound bass, dude. Look at that. It's a nice fish right there. Last look at this beautiful fish right here. Just, dude, it's been like two hours and we haven't caught anything. Feels so good to catch a freaking three pounder. There she goes. Let's there, man. go. That's such a confident booster right there. That's exactly what you need, man. Let's go, boys. I mean, a three pound bass is good any day of the week. But when you come up to a new body of water and catch a good fish like that, it just feels like 10 times better. I don't even catch it, but I'm pumped. All right, all right. I'll switch up to the T-Rig, just see if they're only hitting that bottom stuff. I, I just don't understand why they're not hitting frogs. It just doesn't make sense to me, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, you see that? He's got it, he's got it. Dude, that was so insane. Literally just a top water freaking Texas rig. That's what it takes, I guess. Dude, did you see that? What the heck? I'm fishing the frog for like an hour straight, and then I fish a Texas rig, ski it across the top of the water, and guess what happens? This dude crushes it. Not nearly as big as Danny's fish, not even close. He's like six ounces, but he's kind of cute. I mean, that was a sick eat, so I will definitely take it. I got my top water bite of the night, so I guess I'm satisfied in a sense. I mean, it wasn't using a topwater bait, but it was basically topwater. We're gonna let little buddy go. I appreciate the bite and see you later. I just don't get it. How the heck am I not catching fish on the frog here? It just doesn't make sense. It's really like annoying me at this point. I mean, there's nothing else you can throw. Since we struggled so much to start a fire last time, we are gonna grab a bunch of kindling in these woods right here. So we're completely ready because I'm starving. Got back from fishing at the campsite. I'm starving. We're cooking up some brats. I'm just trying to place it. You scared? Yeah. Want me to do it? Nah, I got it. Dude, that's horrible. Now, how are you gonna pick it up? It's, you're not. <laughs> this is going a lot better than it was earlier. We're gonna put these brats on. Now it's raining guys and um, yeah, I don't know if we don't have a rain cover or anything. It's not even supposed to rain, so I don't know what's going on. But hopefully these things can cook before um, it puts the fire out. Or hopefully it just stops raining, that'd be sweet. Dude, it's literally starting to downpour right now and we, we don't have a rain cover. I put a little poncho over it because I, we're so screwed, <laughs> we're so screwed. Dude, it wasn't even supposed to rain. It's it's not supposed to rain tonight. I don't know what's going on. Now our buns got all soggy, our brats are soggy. The fire's gonna be out. It's like, uh, it's been like 25 minutes, it's still raining. And we don't have any service, so we cannot check the weather as to when it's gonna stop. It's going great right now, it's going great. I'm just so mad, I wanted a s'more, dude. Now the fire's out. I need a s'more. <laughs> you forgot the rain cover. <laughs> dude, we have a freaking poncho that Kevin put in there. And I put it over and it's actually working, at least I think. We'll find out. I need out. a raw brat. <laughs> I think he's gonna die from food poisoning tonight. Things are going great. It's going great. <laughs> Guys, it's it, it's starting to pour even more. We were sitting in the tent because it was like stopped raining. Now it's starting to pour. And the, the tent's leaking, it's seeking. It's starting I, it's, to get it's literally everything's starting to collapse. I, I'm my claustrophobic. I don't know what's going on, dude. It wasn't even supposed to rain. But it's raining. Now we're getting wet in the tent. I, it's it's a rough night. It's a rough night. Somehow our fire is is still kicking. 
I, I, I don't understand it. Guys, we're making s'mores. It stopped raining. My life's pretty much complete right now at this point. I mean, the trip is, is a success. Catching a muskie, who needs to do that? Eating a s'more, that, that's what it's all about. Good morning, y'all. I slept so good. Danny didn't, because uh, he forgot a pillow. Back out on the lake we were on last night. We're gonna give this another try, try to catch a few more fish, but we probably won't stay here long because we didn't figure it out that well, and I really just wanna fish for river smallmouth. There we go, first fish of the day. Didn't take too long, not a big one, but all these fish I've noticed are like really like fat, like look at that. But, nice bass. I just made a cast like right in between those little like weed patches over there and just, I was like, what a cast, and just she smoked it like a couple seconds later. Look at that fish. All right, off you go. So it seems to be flipping these weeds is the ticket, not frogging these weeds, which is uh, is unfortunate, but you know, whatever gets the job done, I guess. But frogging so much more fun than flipping. But I think the reason is it's like probably 10 plus feet deep right along these weeds. It's like super deep. So they might not be like looking up towards the top yet. And it's really murky. I don't really know. It's just third bass of the day. Nice bass right here. The second one flopped off right away, but Duh, these things are definitely not biggins, but hey, it's nice fish. I'm throwing, I'm just throwing a nice little Texas rig, a little bit offshore from those uh, reeds or weeds popping out, and just slaying some largies. All right, send you on your way, Joey. Come on, you gotta, you gotta catch something. I don't want fish. I hate fish. Uh, that's fair. I don't, I, don't, I, I don't like fishing. Okay. All right, Joey gave me GoPro privileges because um I'm absolutely I'm slaying it right now and he's not so. Danny thinks he's hot stuff now, but honestly, it's just quality over quantity. You know, he can catch all the dinks, but I'm gonna catch the five pounder. I don't know what it is. It's just something about the Texas ray. I'm just like a natural with it. I don't know. It's probably because it's all I use. Cause I suck. At, I literally suck at fishing. So. I just hit myself. I hit myself. Come here, buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yep. That feels like a good one. That is a good one, dude. That's a good fish. It's actually a good fish. Oh my gosh. That's a good one. That's a good fish. I told you, Danny. I was going for quality, not quantity. Dude, that's a big, that's a big bass. I hope it breaks three pounds so I beat Danny's biggest of the trip. Come here, buddy. Yep. Yes, sir. Woo. That's a good bass, dude. I don't think he's gonna break three, but maybe. Let's freaking go, man. Finally, I was struggling this morning, but I got to connect on this beautiful LMB right there. Just absolutely choked the um dang around the Texas rig. And, oh, brother, calm down. See you as the biggest bass on the trip. Not that, not that it's a competition, but when you're twins, everything's a competition. Dang it. Two pounds, 14 ounces. <laughs> One ounce less than Danny's. Dang it. Well, we definitely know there's some big bass in this lake because this is our first time ever fishing it and we caught basically two three pounders, which are not giant fish, but they're good fish. So it's a great place to start. I'm sure there's probably five, maybe six pounders in here for sure. Anyways, we're gonna let a big bertha go. See you later, buddy. Let's keep cranking them, man. Is that a fish? That's a fish, that's a fish. There we go, boys. There we go. There we go. Get out the weeds. Get oh, that's not a bad one. That's a decent one. That's a decent one. Oh, is it now? <laughs> Sorry, I just had to make it. Oh, he's in the weeds. He's in the weeds. Get out. Get out. Get out, buddy. Get out the weeds. Come on. Just come over here. Come to daddy. Wait, that was weird. Not a bad bass. Biggest one of the day. We'll take it. So I made a cast, I felt something like pick it up. Like I just felt like a little hit. So I cast it right back out there and he just absolutely hammered it this time. So beautiful fish. It feels good, we're actually kind of figuring out. I mean, I got four, Joey got one. So I mean, brand new lake, no graph. We're figuring it out a little bit, so it feels good, but. 
Alright. Yep, just give me yourself. That's that's fine. That's Maybe a little, fine. A little goodbye present. It works. It, it's getting hot anyway, so. Woo, we're hooked up, boys. Hooked up, hooked up again. That was like second cast. Or sec I don't even know what I'm saying. I made a couple casts and after I, that oh my gosh. It's a pike. I'm kidding, it's not a pike. It's a bass. Ah. Okay, where are you at? There we go. Fifth largey of the day. Come on, Joe. You gotta get, you gotta get your numbers up just a little bit. Hey, quality oh. over quantity. That's, fair, That's what we're fair. going for today. All right. Well, you guys have seen enough. So. I'm good. I'm catching Danny size fish now, wow, little dinker boy. So I know, he's kind of cute. That's like the worst thing you, someone can say to you when you catch a fish, like, oh, it's so cute. You're like, shut up, I know, it's small. It's fine though. We caught my second fish of the day. We're slaying him, I mean, he wanted to go. We literally caught like four fish in five hours yesterday and now we've caught seven in the matter of like an hour maybe. That's what happens when you fish in the morning. It's just so much better. Well, that's all of the fishing we're gonna do on that lake right there. Um, I mean, we slayed them. Danny caught more than me, which is really rare. Just put that no, out there. It happens all the time. That's such cap. Don't it doesn't. Don't let him think that he's good at fishing. Everyone comment down below. Actually, no, because it's gonna backfire on me. I mean, what were you gonna say? As everyone comment down below, Joey's better than Danny. But then everyone's gonna comment the opposite because, like, comment, comment whatever you want. Someone's better than someone, but it's definitely me. And if you if if you think otherwise, you're obviously new to the channel. But if you are new to the channel, you should hit the subscribe button. See what I did there? Hey. Yeah. But stay tuned for the next video, which we're gonna go try out a new river. That's gonna be part three of this series. And hopefully the river's good. If not, well then this is only gonna be a two-part series. So y'all just uh just be on the lookout for some banger content. If you did enjoy this one, be sure to leave that thumbs up and as always folks, fish with passion.